about to head into game two, which is Cafe. Cafe, I'm expecting a totally different game than game one. I'm expecting St. Clair to come out with fire. They want the revenge after that 7-0. They want to be the first team, I'm sure, to take a map off of this team. And I can expect some electrify after that electricity coming out from St. Clair. Yeah, and you know, Florida University not losing a map at all. No, they didn't drop a single round in that in that last map but in their whole total they've only dropped a total of 12 rounds yeah. in their whole run in the cea right now so if saint Clair can take this map off of florida that would be huge right off the bat yeah. so we're hopping into the ban phase we're seeing thatcher go first essentially if if saint Clair wins this game that means they've won seven rounds winning more than almost half of what rogers have lost in a whole season so thatcher coming out as well as the jackal and there's that jackal ban and it's going to be banned off by florida we're seeing some basic bans coming in for this cafe so maybe both teams they've only played cafe once in this whole in their season on cea season so maybe not a lot of information to go off not not able to make those target bands like you are on clubhouse where they have multiple played echo another basic band coming out we probably will see amira even uh yeah amira um a, a, maybe a maestro but probably not because i know jam beast does like to play that maestro so mira so the most basic band phase you'll probably see in uh rainbow six is this exact four setup you have here. You'll see, you'll see it ha a lot. Yeah, if you were to go pick up the game tomorrow and start playing unranked, those are probably the <laughs> bands. Yeah, those are the bands you'll see. But those bands are only banned in unranked because people see it banned all the time in Pro League. And that being that, it's good to see because we're, we're probably, since there's no actual target bands coming out, like I, I unless, Unless for some reason University of Florida is very kind of used to playing Echo and Mira, it's it, I think we're gonna see just a total brawl come out from both teams. And University of Florida, I think just sending out a scare tactic with the Blitz because Blitz is a nuisance. He flashes you, you're flashed. He has a shield, you can't shoot him when he's running. It's just, oh, it's 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 annoying. But the Blackbeard as well coming out to be upside down repel most likely on those windows because Blackbeard upside down repel on windows is really, really overpowered. Yeah, and you know, we also saw Doozy take the frost out. So it's it's a nice change up to see St. Clair pulling out. They did, last time they played Cafe, they did have a frost and the frost helped a lot, but the frost was there to counter the uh, Montane that was being played by the uh, opposing team. So. Maybe Frost trying to take away from, like, the time limit. Maybe the, make them wait a little bit more. Be cautious of the doors that they push through. Be cautious of the windows that they repel into. Yeah, you know, slowing down as much as they can. And as you can see, there's going to be a Frost mat on white stairs. As well as anywhere else that he's going to place them. And one on the A-bomb site. So... You know, frost mats like that, and as well as one inside piano room. So frost mats like that are just, you know, spots that you you'll never um, think to have them, but they're there. And we are right into the action. Game two, cafe, one nothing. University of Florida, Saint Clair looking for revenge, and I have a good feeling that this first round is gonna define. The pace of the whole thing yeah, and, and imagine oh, right off the bat imagine it gets a nice headshot on spooks sergeant pushing those west stairs so spooks being also one of their heavy uh fraggers getting taken out early is really really strong and especially on the iq where she can't call out any of the maestro cams or destroy any electronics or legion mines or anything like that so really early good pick yeah that's an excellent pick to get right off the bat the iq not being in play is going to be a just a big l for florida in this first round but 
Blackbeard already inside the building, not wanting to repel on the windows, not wanting to take those power positions, just going right into the action. Strange was the top fragger in the last game, so maybe he's feeling himself right now. Yeah, and on Blackbeard, you have that face shield, so you got a extra couple bullets. And he, uh, yeah, as you can see, he does have that one bullet, so... Um, his health on his shield doesn't look like it went down too much, but it also could be bugged or anything like that. So, One thing to look at St. Clair is that they have no roamers right now. All players are on the same level. Actually, no, I think a player just dropped down Hatch and is in Library. Yeah, so playing that Library area is going to be a good spot, but Lion breaking the pot on uh, Red Stairs to hide his Claymore. We're going to see the Thermite charge get set by Sergeant, and they're going to start their push right now. Wall is open into kitchen area, and all, all teams are just waiting. They're holding their angles, holding their power positions. Nobody wants to get picked. Nobody wants to make the first move yet. We're going to see Tjing push out, gets shotgunned by Rapid. Rapid looking for a second. There is a player right around the corner. He's ready for this, just waiting with the spot. Miss Nautica taking out Sergeant. That's a 2v5 situation. St. Clair's in such a good position to get this. Shotgun coming out rapid. Gets a double kill on Strange. There's a second kill of the round. And Miss Nautica gets another kill on Ewoks. So that is St. Clair's first round and a flawless round coming out. And like I said before, I am sure that this is going to predict the whole pace of this game. Already seen St. Clair bounce back. Yeah, and you know, uh, at break, you know, they probably could have huddled up together and said, look, guys, we played not the greatest, but we need to pick it up on the sec on the second map and try and get as many rounds as we can just to show, hey, we can do it, too. Oh. So and, you know, wanting to get that first map win would be amazing just to say, you know, they're four and oh. They beat the team that beat us, but we still took a round or a map from them, even though they won both maps against Rudders. So it'd be a good, you know, hey, we did it. Spooks taking out the gridlock. Don't I, I think I've seen gridlock get played three times in this season for CEA. Gridlock, I, in my opinion, is very overlooked they, as there's so many people, especially on a map like Cafe, which is so roam heavy. That gridlock, it's so like, it's it's a good tactic to bring out to kind of eliminate the the rotations. Yeah, and her track stingers, the little, it looks like fake um, uh, spider webs with needles. Yeah, <laughs> essentially what it looks like, and they take damage every time you walk over them. So to cut off roams, and even if you don't do damage to your opponent it cuts off the roam and if they want to get through they have to shoot it so it's a sound cue yeah so no matter what you're holding the flank without having a drone or having someone watch it so right away i like the uh, instant change coming out of florida strange on the sledge too so we're gonna probably see a, a quick push through all these uh, all the doors Miss Nautica playing in that bakery area behind the cupboards with a rotate back into the kitchen site. So we'll see how well she can hold this. And I believe she does have a Jaeger there. So if any grenades are thrown, it's going to be stopped. But, you know, it's always going to be able to be burned. So Miss Nautica very known to sit behind those cupboards and just wait there. So University of Florida may be ready for this. It looks like they're there the head she's been pinged so tjing's gonna push in and just hold that angle so miss not just, just gonna wait be patient hold the angle gonna get smoked off just missing the smoke though and they pushed in and jmv just missing florida dropped the diffuser and i thought somebody went down but I, th I think they just dropped it so that they don't get uh caught out of position strange picking up jmb so that's an advantage to university of florida spooks picking up miss nautica so that is the player away from cupboard and they have such a good position pushing the site so strange up and up top breaking the floor and on the flank is doozy getting taken out by strange and as well as imagine is on that flank so rapid you know, the only person on site with the counterpart, Imagine, roaming around. Spooks takes out Rapid. So, Imagine, very out of position right now. 
because he went went on that flank. Just gonna play uh, play some time. Yeah, and, and gonna use the breach holes to his favor and see if he can get a pick. But everybody's gonna be rotated out. Just missing the rotate by Zofia. But now the diffuser is going down. Diffuser going down. There is somebody pinged on those stairs. It's gonna take the fight. Imagine gets a nice kill on Strange. So that's a one v four situation. If Imagine clutches this, that would be nuts. He's getting ready though. And just missing the person down over by Bakery. Gets a kill on Ewoks. There's one on site, but there's one behind him that he didn't check. And that's Tjing taking out Imagine for a tie one one in rounds. Yeah, and him holding that angle is such a hard angle to contest because he is underneath that table. So it's just a weird angle to look at. But with him not peaking that angle, costing, not costing St. Clair the round because it was a 1v5 situation, but, you know, he did die because of it. So he did bring it down to a 1v2 situation. So essentially, he almost got it. But. Props to Strange for getting two kills that round, along with Spook. So both of those players putting in such work to take that even to even up the odds in round. We're gonna see the same composition come out for St. Clair and Ash coming out for Strange instead of that sledge. We're gonna see the another change up, switching up their tactics. They're gonna be holding on to Kitchen one more time as since they didn't win it, it was it's not locked. Yeah, so any site that you don't win, you are able to go again. Now, if they do win this site, they will be able to, I believe, go back upstairs to their third their uh, third floor site. So, a site that they won is a site that you can win again. It's not like you're going to be dropping the castle doors. Cutting off some rotations. AMB is dropping the, the reinforcements. Another castle door. We're gonna see a shotgun on Doozy's Bandit. That's a little wow. different. An M870 coming out in Kitchen on Bandit. So I wonder if he's gonna be Bandit tricking inside the freezer. If not, you know, it's whatever. But it looks like he's gonna go upstairs. That's a little different, maybe. You know what it could be? It could be since Strange. And it was such a nuisance on that second floor. Maybe Doozy's going to be holding some tight angles with that shotgun. Yeah, and opening up some walls, you know, opening up anything he can. Just opening up line of sight, just a scare off and rapid getting a pick on Strange. Rapid with a nice headshot onto Strange to put St. Clair at an early advantage. Not even 30 seconds into the round. Yeah, and that's Ash going down, so I feel like Ash has tried to rush right in. I feel and like Rush tried to, you know, how many times do you see an Ash rush straight in? Uh, about all the times that <laughs> Ash played. <laughs> Every time you see an Ash play, that Ash is most likely going to rush right in. Yeah, and, you know, being up one nothing in games and tied 1-1 one -one in, in the game, it's just, you don't want to rush. You want to play it safe. You want to play it so that you do win, but... Miss Nautica did get droned out, so they know she's there. And the line called picking up nobody. Spook's trying to get a nice angle on Miss Nautica. Over on the site, we see Imagine trading. So that's advantage still to St. Clair, and we're in a 3v4. Miss Nautica, though, not in the best position right now. Gonna get dropped by Spooks. JMB's taking out Ewoks, but Spooks refragging. That's a 2v2 situation we're in. Spooks and Sergeant up against Rapid and Doozy. That's one smoke canister down. So two left to go. And essentially, that is the only plant dial, except for the C4 that Doozy has. And there's going to be Spooks pushing from Bakery and as well as Thermite. So they are both inside Bakery. And so peeking every angle that they can. Rapid playing a little bit more passive. And Doozy waiting for any short, short distance to peek. That and just blow him away yeah, with that, that shotgun. That shotgun might take him by surprise. Spooks gonna drone out Doozy. And Sergeant's drone still up. So they got a nice sight line on Doozy. He's going to be called out so much. Rapid is going down. So we just have a shotgun of Doozy left in this. Gonna go for the shots. Gonna drop the diffuser. We're in a 1v1 situation and they do take round two. That's University of Florida pulling it back for a nice 
victory. That 1v1 from Spooks was clutch. Yeah, and almost going down, but picking it right back up was University of Florida showing that they can do it. Spooks top fragging in the whole lobby with 5 and 1. What a showing early from that player. Yeah, and you know, with St. Clair, their kills are a little bit more spread out with uh, you know, the fours, the fives, the twos. You have a couple ones and zeros, but essentially it's it's all the same, but we just need to see them kind of throw it all together. They were down in that that clutch. It was a 1v1 situation and they weren't able to pull it together. So we'll see how well they do back up top where they have one. As we rotate back onto the third floor where St. Clair did pull that flawless round, we're going to have the lesion of Miss Nautica back on the side of St. Clair. And Spooks opting to switch off onto the Nomad. So we're going to see the Sledge of Strange and the Nomad of Spooks out. Uh, T, uh, T, T Jing and uh, Ewok Sergeant, they've been playing the same characters for all their attacks, but those Spooks and Strange switching it up, being the, the diverse players of, the, of their team. Yeah, and as you can see, an impact nade was thrown at that default plant spot. So now that default plant will be able to be seen through and make it a little bit easier for lines of sights to be held. You can see, it. imagine on that Jaeger, making sure that he has the assault rifle on those, uh, instead of Doozy taking out the shotgun of Bandit, because I'd say the uh, the automatic rifles for those two are a little bit better than their shotguns. Yeah, the MP7 and the, uh, I believe it's the 301 carbine, the C301 carbine, is just so much better than the M870. We're going to see Doozy hop onto the Valkyrie. Valkyrie, a little bit better. You see Doozy excel at playing that operator. Yeah, and the intel available, as they don't have an IQ, it's a little bit easier to um, kind of keep those Valkyrie cams hidden. And so we'll see how well Doozy decides to hide his Valkyrie cams. There we have the Valkyrie droned out immediately by Tjing. Teaching, maybe he wants to push in right away. We're gonna see the holes in the wall there. A lot of information being gained from University of Florida, and they're just getting onto site now. So we see Strange, usually the first one we see on site, and is the first one on site. So Doozy gonna fall back a little bit. Almost got the preset nitro, almost got the kill with the nitro, almost got the pre fire, but didn't get it in time so he's gonna fall back to site no damage done no kills were given i'm honestly enjoying the amount of droning coming from florida they're they're almost taking out every option that st Clair is sitting in like they they rotate to a different position they're droned out by florida st Clair just not safe from the drones yeah, and Sledge getting rid of one Maestro Cam, so I believe there's only one Maestro Cam left. Opening up Freezer Wall, essentially opening up every line of sight that they can see through. There is somebody right outside there, but they just missed each other. They, they didn't want to They didn't want to talk to each other yet. So Nomad placing her air jabs. Rapid. rapid! Once again in that spot, getting a nice shotgun kill on Sergeant. Miss Nautica picking a kill on Strange, but TJ and Ewoks combined for two on St. Clair. That's a down from Rapid. He gets a double kill with the shotgun. He's insane in this position, as he showed in round one. Doozy putting shots down into Christmas room. Rapid, though, holding that same angle with the shotgun. There's no answer for him sitting here. Yeah, and, you know, the shotgun close range is just... But he gets taken down, but Doozy refrags. So that's a 1v2 situation, TJing against Doozy and Imagine. And that is the Fuser down. So all they really have to do is play that Diffuser with that shield and TJing oh. going down to about five health. And with Imagine and Doozy both on 100 HP, it's going to be an easy win. As you can see, Imagine getting the last pick on TJing. St. Clair showing unstoppable force on this third floor. The first round was a flawless victory. This was a 2v1, but no matter what they won the rounds and it looks like they're strong up there up top there yeah and you know third floor is 
one of the heavier sites to hold, one of the better sites to hold, because there's not very much you can push from. You can't break anything in the in the roof. The only thing you can really break is somewhat of the floor, and even then, it's so open when you're underneath that you can just get flanked and pretty much get peaked from anywhere. And so it's it's just so hard to to be down there. And so it's one of the easier ones to hold is up top. So I'd like to see them work a little bit more on their kitchen hold rather than their upstairs hold. And reflecting on the stats from before we uh, we started this, uh, Imagine and Rapid, both the top fraggers on St. Clair, both holding an equal amount of kills for their team right now. So they are showing up to this map on Cafe. They, they are ready for this. Yeah, and you know, with Imagine and Rapid both showing up in this game is essentially it's a good really, sign yeah a really really good sign because like i said even just to get one map is really good on an undefeated team who hasn't lost a map yet yeah, in it, league. it puts them at just that spot that shows that they they are beatable yeah jmb is making the rotate hole a little bit tight and i think that was on purpose that rotate hole just because now it's so much harder to peak into without having to put yourself in a position where oh and imagine oh imagine might we might see a dc coming out for imagine that is unfortunate imagine just running on a treadmill and there and he he's goes. gone jmb's calls for the rehost it was i wonder if it was in time no i believe it was in action phase so this is going to go in the favor of doozy left and Spooks lets them know that it was called in the action phase, so they're going to have to play this out. So it's going to be a mid-round rehost, but it won't be rehosted right now. It's The round is going to be played out, and whoever wins this round wins the round for later. And now oh, down to a Spooks 2v5. Picks off Miss Nautica's head. We're going to see... Uh, we're gonna see a 2v5 situation. Ewoks takes out GMB, so where it's Rapid against five. They know he's there. Or they predicted he's there. Rapid taking out Spooks. Rapid going for the shot. And Florida takes another round off of St. Clair, and they are up three to two. Okay, just waiting for uh, St. Clair to leave, and as you can see, they are going to leave. And so going into that rehost, we have a tie 2-2. Two to two Was it that last round on Kitchen debatable? So we'll see what well, it is when we go in. Yeah, we'll see the outcome of that. And I, I'm, pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure I saw Florida fighting for it because... It was mid round, like the 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 uh, the prep phase was over. They were in action phase, so we're gonna see Saint Clair is Saint Clair is wanting the rehost because no damage was done. Yeah, but we're gonna we'll we'll see how that what the teams come to in conclusion. So we're gonna hop to a quick break to reset up the the lobby, and we'll just stay tuned. We'll catch you guys in a bit.
And we're back. Hopping right into the action. Reflecting on that past round, it did count. So Florida is up 3-2 to two against St. Clair. We're heading into round six. The last round before roles swap between teams. And they're playing kitchen again. Yeah, so they're going to go back to that kitchen site. See if they can win it this time. Maybe change a little bit of uh, some strats up instead of doing their basic. Because they have lost three kitchen rounds so they won twice upstairs on the third floor and lost three times on the first floor kitchen so see if they they change anything up but it looks like they sat they they still have the same composition and going into it to be honest as much as a power position as miss nautica's spot behind the cupboard is every single round that miss nautica has been behind that cupboard she's been caught out of position instantly droned out and just called out and then isolated taken out yeah and uh university of florida does a really good job on not pushing her too fast but not pushing too slow and when i say that i mean they coordinated it so that uh they get rid of the roamers they get rid of whoever they need to that's going to be a nuisance to them on small bakery they take control of small bakery and they push from both sides now there could be uh there has been refrags that have happened but um essentially the trades usually go in favor of florida yeah almost every time starting with that push through the through bakery yeah so i would like to see uh i'd like to see personally st Clair change a little bit of their strat up when holding that bakery position because it seems to be where the like the start of the push for university of florida always happens yeah and so We'll see, there's a little bit of different Maestro camps, so we'll see, you know, how much intel they're able to get. But as you can see, Spook's kind of pushing the same way. He walks, Strange is going to go upstairs, try to get the hatch, and just all around, same push, same hold. We'll see if they do anything different. And Doozy see. on that shotgun again upstairs, and so we'll see how well he see the okay. drone out right now, so that is... The player in train getting called out instantly, and what I, was Miss Nautica behind the counter, the the cupboard again? Yeah, Miss Nautica is behind that cupboard, and Rapid is also inside this the uh, small kitchen, and so that's so, where we see the change coming into play. Yeah, so they're gonna sit in that small kitchen, and oh, I can can yeah. Doozy's head get seen through that? I believe it can, but I don't think she sees it just yet. Oh, oh and it went okay. away, so she might have seen it. We're gonna see Doozy get in trouble right here. Doozy going down. Miss Nautica goes down. So Strange and Spooks combining for two. Rapid refrags on Spooks. Imagine gets a pick on Strange. So we're seeing a three v three right away. Not wasting any time. Diffuser in a gunfight goes down. TJ dropping to Rapid. Rapid is insane on that shotgun this game. Yeah, and you know, peeking everything he can in with that close range. It's just one shot down or one shot kill. So. Essentially, that's all he really needs we to do. He walks imagine. right around the corner from E. Imagine. It doesn't even look like Imagine. It's ready for this. Imagine the Harry Potter position about to be peaked, getting pre blue. But what's happening between the <laughs> What just happened between those characters? I was so mind blown. Oh I my god. <laughs> I was so mind blown. I forgot the color of the stairs. Yeah, right. <laughs> I called them blue. I called them purple. You called them Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> no, where, where Imagine was sitting, that's that's Harry Potter. It's underneath the stairs, but not being seen. Sergeant, last one standing on the team in a 1v3 situation. Are we about to see St. Clair take their first hold on Kitchen, or will we see a magnificent 1v3 clutch come out of Sergeant? It all starts here. I'm... Wow. <laughs> I'm still mind blown by that holding. <laughs> but Sergeant right. pushing into, a, into Bar. Sergeant. It's castled off. So... Oh, they're going for the wall bang. Nice little predict right there as Sergeant is there and caught out of position. What a play for Imagine, just predicting both spots. Yeah, and I have a feeling that there was a cam on him that they didn't shoot or anything like that. So let's hope that oh, they yeah. have Moss running because that was a really scary situation. That was like 200 IQ. That was more than 200 IQ, but... <laughs> Imagine and Rapid, the only players on the team to get a kill for St. Clair that round. They, they're just showing up right now in this cafe. We're tied 3-3. Three, three. 
Yeah, and you know, just being tied three three just goes to show how m it it just shows either how much more dominant Saint Clair is on this map, or how much more um, less dominant Florida is on this map. So essentially, it's just one way or another but we're about to find out when they go when st Clair is now on attack because this map like i said is 100 not 100 percent, but about 90 percent defender heavy up top it is really hard to push that that site up top and so if they can push it right they'll come out with the win but if not then obviously it'll go in favor of florida at the moment if i'm i'm sure of it actually I'm, I'm, not actually, I'm about 90% sure that St. Clair, in their total time playing on Cafe, they've only lost, I think, one round up top for defense. Yes. Um, and going to a couple weeks ago, I've seen them play uh, on, on different um, leagues and in, in scrims and just watching the streams that aren't casted and how dominant some maps they are and how sometimes they got to fix a little bit of things but that's what you know practices and games are for or essentially just practices but games you can figure out some stuff too last time we saw st Clair there they had an equal effective push on uh, the third floor as they did defense so let's see if they can repeat that and take their fourth round and take the lead we got imagine not wasting any time opening the hatches on the roof and they're setting up for this push so let's see if uh, imagine can get some uh, nice angles on the players holding that third floor kind of main area it looks like we have somebody close to the closet on the right of imagine and somebody on the left of imagine over in the side room and so we have rapid on the oh rapid I takes so much damage and he ends up going down and this is a really weird player model. I don't know if you saw that. The, the ragdoll that, that there, just kind of flew on the roof. <laughs> it landed on the roof. It, but that's advantage to Florida right away. And imagine being the first one to drop down. They're going to take hold of these west stairs. He's going to be ready for somebody flanking. But nobody in a position to flank on the side of Florida. But Strange pushing in and taking out Jane Beast. That's the fuser down. And doesn't get refried the lion call coming out strange takes a little bit of damage from imagine imagine just playing ring around to rosie with these players and that's a shot coming out from strange through the wall taking out imagine that's a 2v5 situation so maybe we'll see a repeat from round one where saint Clair got a flawless maybe university of florida wants their flawless round right away yeah and so Jagger just creeping on around up in Cigar there and waiting for anybody to drop that hatch. And as you can see, just holding an angle, waiting to wide peek that. And uh, see the line Nautica called calling, calling the Nautica and drops and doesn't get wide peek. But oh, going for the shots, but just whiffing on a few. Miss Nautica takes out Strange, so that is not the flawless round going in favor of University of Florida. We're in a 2v4 situation. Ewok taking so much damage, it ends up going down to Miss Nautica. She gets a nice double kill to bring it back to a 2v3. So, slowly but surely, St. Clair is bringing it back. Doozy gets a nice kill on Sergeant. 2v2! Can St. Clair pull this off? 2v2 situation. This is winnable. Doozy, half health, just getting peaked on white stairs by the bandit. And now, Missed. the Lion EED coming out, going to peak in. Oh, is Miss Nautica ready for this Legion? Coming out, flashes herself. And taking damage from the Legion. She might go down to the Legion, unless she takes it out. She pulls it out. Five seconds left, and the players are playing their lives. That is the round going to Florida. But so that was an excellent job by St. Clair to, to try to pull it back. But in the end, just not enough time. So essentially, uh, playing it very safe, which is a really good idea because they had uh, the man advantage. If the plant was going to go down, it was less than seven seconds left. They could just push the plant and essentially get the kill. So either way, it was a lot harder to play that in a 1v2 situation. I thought we were about to see a legion kill like with the with the goo mine. Yeah, that was that was close one. Yeah, and you know, taking it back 
from a 2v5 situation is just, you know, incredible. But not able to capitalize, and therefore a round goes in uh, University of Florida's favor. And Capkin coming out for Spooks on that second place. They're holding Fireplace and Mining Room. So that Capkin trap can do a lot of damage if you're not paying attention to, for it. Especially on the second floor. That's where you see Cap can get played the most in this map is when they're holding the second floors. That dining room and mining room is just some teams are not ready when they're pushing through these uh, through the doorways. Yeah, and I feel like Cap can won't be as effective because of the IQ. But if it co does come down to it, Cap can does do 60 damage to one armors, 50 damage to two armors, and 40 damage to three armors. I, I don't know, man. After seeing the last round, that I the IQ of Rapid went. He was the first one picked, and on and if that happens again, that is scary. With the Capkin traps down. Yeah, his, you know, he was the first picked, and his his body was able to be saved to be brought home, but you know St. Clair not able to win out the round. So and Cade getting picked too is it's almost something you see all. All the time, if it's replacing the bandit on the second floor, because of the verticality that those bandits, the the Cade uh, gadgets have. Yeah, and without that Thatcher, it is going to be so hard to get those Cades unless Doozy can get his drone inside sight and get the Cade off the hatch. Yeah, and that is not an easy thing to have happen. Imagine going to drop a nade inside. But connecting with nothing, just doing some damage on the floor and the walls. And Bandit laying down, it looks like, right next to the window, waiting for any contestion on that big wall. And so Rapid trying trying to, trying to hit the hit the gadgets but can't connect. Yeah, trying to get that cap can trap that was placed. But upside down repel is imagine on the piano windows. Oh. Getting picked is Miss Nautica and just not like a meet in the maker of Tjing's SMG. That was a nice shot though. Wow. Yeah, just quick peeking and essentially not enough time to, to peek into the um, the piano there for Miss Nautica. We're seeing a default setup for the defense of Florida too. Not really a, a huge presence on the second floor, but a really big presence on the third floor because they got that top down view. And JMB is rushing right through, taking damage from the Capkin trap, learning his lesson and taking out the second one. But that's yeah. a lot of damage done. And right as away. you can see, there is a operator on new balcony, and gonna pick off Rapid. They weren't ready for that player on new balcony, but it's strange taking advantage of that spot. Imagine has a good angle to get a nice pick right there, but it's gonna back off. Yeah, and you see the Jaeger just rotating a little bit back. Probably going to rotate back to the white, knowing that Buck opened up the freezer and Ooh. gets the pick on Imagine. Strange doing so much work on the second floor. Gets picked by JMB. So, oh, JMB is not learning his lesson. Getting hit by another Capkin trap and going down. Yeah, and, you know, Doozy on the f main floor that the site is on, but not with Bomb. Um, Possession. Yeah, diffuser's so, down. Yeah, diffuser's down upstairs. I don't think they know though. Because points are off. Oh, Doozy but with a nice a pick on Ewoks. On white and Capcan gets the kill on to Doozy. And that is a 5-3 to three lead for University of Florida. They are in prime position to take this. The Capcan traps essentially is what set them back there. Capcan traps doing a, doing a lot. I don't know, they didn't realize the damage that they were doing with the Capkin traps, but the Capkin traps doing a lot of damage. Strange with five kills leading the leaderboard right now on top, as he was, I'm pretty sure, doing before we had the rehos. So just taking that taking that position at number one. Yeah, and going to a 5-3 a lead is Florida University. And so we'll see how well St. Clair can try and pull this back if they can and force that that overtime or even try and win um, four straight and get that win. Let's see St. Clair rally it back. Let's see them pull it right back into this next round. I want to see that, them 
come out with fire in this ninth one as they have lost all of their uh, their attacks right now they're probably just getting ready to pick up their next one second floor is going to be held once again but instead dining room and library instead of dining room and uh mining room this is uh this is quite the the setup we're seeing we don't ever usually see a team follow up from the dining room mining room to the dining room library it's it's a different but florida you seem confident in their uh, in their defense yeah florida seeming very confident in their defense maybe not wanting to go to that kitchen site yeah it's st Clair. Uh, i know in, in the last time they played this map their attack was good on that first floor so i'd say their attack on the fir the first floor was almost as good as their attack on the third floor yeah and so uh with such heavy presence now upstairs there's gonna be a lot of room clear as you can see there's a castle on white stairs there's a mozzie in um the cocktail lounge as well as uh, a jaeger inside piano so the roam clear is going to have to be stellar if they want to win this round imagine just putting some shots through the barricades and it looks like they're gonna set up for a top-down push yeah, and on this map, essentially, that is what you have to do. And if you don't, then it's just going to be a little weird. But now, imagine just peeking any angle he can. And is there still a player in piano room? I, I can't uh, tell right now. Yeah, there is. There is a player prone in piano room. Detected him. So, oh, and, and there. The Jaeger doing the so much work. Taking out Imagine. Strange. I thought was walking in slow motion, not gonna lie. He was. He was holding his alt key. His oh, alt okay, walk. Okay, okay. His slow walk key is what I call it. It just kind of messed up. I, it's just weird to see. It's And there's rapid, rapid killing spooks. Taking it right back into an even player advantage. And that's a, the drone of JMB's picking up two Ewoks and the player in bathroom. I think it was strange, the, the Jaeger. Yep. So they have an idea of where both of those players are. I want to see them close in on that. Doozy just making sure that nobody's in those corners. And we're going to see a collapse happen right now with that line call. Yeah, and, you know, Miss Nautica pushing the bathroom, getting the pick on the castle. And now all they have to worry about is that Jaeger. And they, then they can push yeah, the Yeah, they site. can't forget about this Jaeger. And Strange getting a pick on JMBs, but that's refracted by Doozy. That's a 2v3 situation right now. St. Clair in a prime position to bring themselves to a 4-5 yeah, score line. Cade playing in that, that train room is just going to hinder a little bit because the castle barricade came out on library door. So if he wants to rotate through the library door, there isn't much to rotate to. You have to break down that door and it's a sound cue and you can potentially get peeked from it. And it's not something that you want to do. And Oh, oh almost catches the sight lines on that player. But we're down to 30 seconds left and Diffuser's not down. So we're going to see we're gonna see crunch time right now. The player in storage room does take out Miss Nautica. We're in a 1v2 situation right now. And that's... Florida clutching up to put themselves on match point. What a play from the two players to bring it back. That was insane. That shotgun coming in handy in that close quarter. Yeah, and the knife on the Jaeger upstairs was just so crucial to knock it down to that three man because a four man push on a two man, essentially each group of two pushes one operator and it's just you die, refrag, you die, refrag, and that's the game. We're seeing almost even kills all across the board for St. Clair. Spread out a little bit more on the side of University of Florida, but that seven kills coming out of Strange is, is showing, it's shining on that player. Ewok switching over to the dock. He's gonna... This is the first time we're gonna see a castle not being played for University of Florida. Need to locate and, bombs. and they're going to be right back on the third floor. St. Clair. They, uh, they, they kind of got, I don't want to say, uh, like shut down on the third floor push, but they had a, they had a tough time and en entering that, uh, entering the site. Yeah. And 
like I said, this this site is really, really hard to hold. Almost taking shots off on the Legion. Ah, that would have been unfortunate. But, uh, so, up top is really, really hard to attack. And it's really easy to hold. So, we'll see how well St. Clair can push this and see if they can keep pushing their way back into this game and we're in the rally time for st Clair. can they pull it back there their whole map life depends on this round right here they have to go flawless to bring it back into overtime if, and if is there an overtime i can't remember if cea has an overtime i don't believe cea does have an overtime so it will just be a 6-6 six -six tie and if they can pull it into a 6-6 six -six tie, that would be that would be insane for the for St. Clair, being down by three against the the number one team in their division, and pulling it back would be story of a lifetime. Though, so let's see that let's see that story come to life. And Zofia just making impact needs on the big wall, and just impacting off the bandit just to get him off that wall so he can't bandit trick anymore. And then they have free roam in piano trying to get that done. And Doozy taking out T Jing. Nice pick by T Jing. On T Jing. So that's an advantage to St. Clair right away. The line call coming out from Miss Nautica. And we're going to see uh, some push coming from Rapid and Miss Nautica. It looks like they're on site. It does look like they took sight, but they might, yeah, they might just be on the roof. They are on the roof. It was just a weird angle that we were looking at. J and Beast, though, on West Stairs. In a good position to get a lot of information. Imagine repelled in the window, but Doozy getting peeked by the, uh, it was the lesion of Sergeant. So imagine going to repel into Piano now with anything he can pre-firing, see if he can get any kills, and he I does take the gunfight but Ewoks, Ewoks takes out Imagine Ewoks gets down but the stim pistol taking him right back up right away so he's right back in it but he's down so that's Doc out of commission for University of Florida and we're in a 3v4 situation Doozy going for the flank on the second floor JMB is dropping his thermite charge and opening up the wall to freezer I'm pretty sure that was no it was just right to bar oh but the peak from the strange getting a double kill we're down to a 2v3 right away, almost instantly. 2v3 situation and the diffuser is down. And getting peaked is Miss Nautica from the... Oh, Doozy with a nice pick on Sergeant. We're down to a 1v2 situation for St. Clair to stay in this. Can Doozy pull it right back? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to focus up right here, see if Doozy can clutch up for his team. And he goes down to a lesion mine, and that is Florida taking... The second map win seven to three to the uh, to the fault of a lesion mine. So there's the lesion mine kill that you wanted to see <laughs> so earlier, but now it's there. So seven nothing, seven three. GG's. Now, this game was very very together. One one, two two, three three, and then it wasn't until the attack phase for. Florida that we saw them kind of shine and run away with it but once once they got their wheels planted they just took off and they didn't want to wait for that win St. Clair though played way better on cafe than they did on clubhouse and it and it really showed they, their team communication showed that like showed that they were communicating well and staying positive and staying on top of things making sure that they were droning properly getting all the essentials down in the in the end, it came down to the one v one gunfights a lot of the time. So, like Florida, just showing that they're they're they got good good gun skill. Yeah, and you know, with the uh, the Jaeger, I believe it was uh, sh strong, strange, 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 strange. There, I there, I don't know how many times strange they were in like a disadvantage in players, and strange just got a double kill to bring it right back. Yeah, and you know, like I said, adapting to their their situation adapting to the situation they're in adapting to the play style and they learn um st Clair's play style they learn they know that they're adapting so they'll switch it right up and play more aggressive i i i, I kind of put the spotlight on spooks at the start of this but spooks kind of compared to strange had a quiet game so strange you kind of kind of put the 
to team in the backpack for that second that second half. Like it was kind of even right across. But props to him for doing doing the doing some work. Yeah, and Spooks being the top fragger on their team overall. Didn't really hear much from him the second game, but Strange taking it into his hands and throwing it through. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're the top fragger as long as somebody's clicking heads. Yeah, yeah. Essentially, that's yeah. Right. And so GG's to both teams, and we're gonna we're gonna start closing off of this segment. If you want to catch some more Rainbow Six action for Saint Clair on Friday, we have the CR Six happening. Ooh, if I actually caught that, I think we're gonna be playing next week because they played on Monday for uh for their CR Six. I I was a little bit backwards there. I thought that was last week, but. Anyways, if you want to, you can catch us next week for some more Rainbow Six action. But tomorrow we got the Rocket League team playing. So if you want to catch some more Saints action in general, we got the Rocket League team playing, fighting for their playoff spot right now. And that's going to be an exciting game to watch. So hi, I'm Seymour. And joining me today was Braden Hyper. And that's all for today, folks.